What's up guys? In this video, we are going to break down a sample TMC practice question about when you should or shouldn't make changes to a patient's ventilator settings depending on how much or how little ventilatory support they need at that particular time. So if you're ready, let's get into it. A 52 kilogram female patient is receiving volume control assist control mechanical ventilation with a tidal volume of 400 milliliters, a set rate of 10, and an FIO2 of 35%. Her ABG results are as follows. pH of 7.31, PACO2 of 49, bicarb of 24, base excess of negative 2, a PAO2 of 84, and an SPO2 of 95%. Based on the given information, which of the following changes is appropriate at this time? A. Increase the FIL2. B. Increase the tidal volume. C. Increase the set rate. Or D. Maintain the current settings. Do you know the answer? We're about to break it all down step by step, but if you knew the answer before the explanation, let me know in the comments, just so I'll know where some of you guys stand. Now to come up with the correct answer, the first thing we need to do is interpret the ABG results. A decreased pH with an increased PaCO2 and a normal bicarb indicates acute respiratory acidosis. And by looking at the PaO2 and SpO2, we can see that the patient's oxygenation status is satisfactory. So now we need to figure out what can we do to correct the respiratory acidosis to get the pH back into the normal range. The elevated PaCO2 level is what's causing the pH to be acidotic. This means that we need to blow off some of that excess CO2 and we can do so by increasing the minute ventilation. And you may be wondering, how can we increase the minute ventilation? There are two ways to do so. We can either increase the rate or increase the tidal volume. Now the question provides us with the patient's weight of 52 kilograms and the set tidal volume is 400 milliliters. We can use this data to calculate whether or not the tidal volume is set appropriately. All we have to do is say 400 milliliters divided by 52 kilograms and that equals to 8 milliliters per kilogram. And this falls perfectly within the appropriate tidal volume range of 5 to 10 milliliters per kilogram, which tells us that the tidal volume is set correctly. So since the tidal volume is set appropriately, that means that there is only one possible way to increase the minute ventilation. Now we can be certain that in order to lower the PaCO2, we need to increase the rate. So by going through the question, taking what they give us, and breaking it down step by step, we could determine that the correct answer has to be C. Increase the set rate. So there you have it. That wraps up this video on making changes to a patient's ventilator settings, and I hope that you found it helpful going through and breaking down the sample TMC practice questions. If so, then you are in luck because this only scratches the surface of what we have to offer for our students. As I always say, going through practice questions is by far one of the best methods to prepare for and pass the TMC exam. And that is why so many of our students have been having such success here lately. If you want to get access to our entire massive bank of practice questions, just like the one in this video, you can consider checking out our TMC test bank where we have over 800 of these bad boys that cover every single topic that you need to know for the TMC exam. So if you're interested, I will drop a link down below in the description. And also, if you'd like to get our practice questions delivered straight to your inbox on a daily basis, you can consider signing up for our Practice Questions Pro membership where the members get a brand new practice questions straight to their inbox every day and these little tidbits of knowledge over time add up to massive results. It costs less than one of those fancy cups of coffee that all the kids are drinking these days. So if you're interested, I will drop a link to that as well down below in the description. 
Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. Be sure to like this video, subscribe, and leave a comment letting me know what topics you want us to cover next. That's it for this one. Have a blessed day, and as always, breathe easy, my friend.